Right now, I just got oh, the equality bundle in the mail. So what I'm gonna do is, I got my chipotle, I got my queso and salsa, and I got my makeup, everything around me, I got my chips. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna mukbang and I'm gonna eat while I'm reviewing this. How's that sound? Does that sound weird? Or no? I know my hair's not done. My hair's not done. It looks kind of eh, blah. But you know what? Who gives a shit? I'm gonna enjoy myself. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna do my makeup. We're gonna talk about some stuff. Okay? So, if you guys wanna continue watching, go ahead and grab yourself a little drink, a little food because this is gonna be a long one and we're gonna sit and do makeup and eat our lunch together. So, hop to it. By the way, this is the new peach citrus white tea from Starbucks. It's actually really good. I've grown really tired of like the YouTube trends and the, you know, if you're not making videos regularly, nobody wants to watch you or if you're not buying new makeup all the time nobody wants to watch you it's like they these standards that nobody ever tells you when you decide you want to start a youtube channel just because you want to have fun with it like you have to like be high end and you have to have all this money and you have to be this like super famous person in order to have a successful youtube channel you can't just sit down and do tutorials and teach people how to put on makeup how you know how to put on makeup or be vibrant or creative like I'm always wearing wigs or like doing I guess what I'm saying is like these YouTube beauty content creator standards are not they're not real like people like Jaclyn Hill they change they get a bunch of money and then they they act like they don't know what brought them to the place that they're at. I'm going in with the NARS Pour and Shine um, Control Primer because um, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm like combination skin, dry, oily. So um, I used this the other day with my makeup and it actually made my skin look really freaking nice. We're just gonna do like a basic face, basic eye today because I wanna swatch these Jeffree Star. I wanna kinda do like a first impressions of this equality bundle, which I'm like so excited to get. It looks straight up like the PR package and I love it. So, um, ooh, look at that. That is so pretty. So basically, I want to swatch these, I want to give you like my first impressions of the whole kit, the color scheme, everything. I am so tired of sitting behind this camera and feeling like I'm an inadequate YouTuber, like the pressure to get content up or it's like I have almost 10k across all my social medias and it's like nobody wants to allow you to be a normal person. I'm in school, I'm trying to become a nurse, I want to be a nurse practitioner, and um, this doesn't pay my bills. Actually, I can't even monetize my videos anymore because I don't get enough views. So, and that's mainly because I haven't been persistent, I haven't been persistent lately, so I understand. But, the problem is with that, if I'm not getting... If I'm not getting people to view my channel that I can't monetize then YouTube is not promoting me so like literally I'm stuck in a rut in a dead rut where I can't grow I just stay where I'm at the views are very low I used to get like a thousand views per video like for real and now it's like this whole new algorithm especially with YouTube and Instagram and it just literally squashes the smaller artist I'm sick of it. So, you want to know the tea? The reason why I'm inconsistent? 
is because it's not worth it to me anymore. I love doing YouTube. I love doing it because I love being an artist. I like expressing myself. And what y'all don't understand is, I'm in school, I work, and I have two kids. I'm married, I have an entire household to handle. So I can't always be sitting in here filming, even though people like to think that I am. And if you can't support me, because you can't see my face every single day of the week, then, oh well, I'm sorry. Don't fucking watch me. Like Manny MUA says, if you don't fucking like it, don't fucking watch. And we'll start with foundation. So lately I've been using the NARS Radiant Longwear um, Foundation and mixed with the um, Maybelline Superstay 24 hour. Gives you a nice full coverage finish. Doesn't show any texture. And it actually, like the shade is perfect. I mix these two together and um, I get a really good finish. Like it's not matte, it's not completely dewy. It's like a satin finish. It's really beautiful. I love it. So we're gonna go ahead and mix these two and place them on the skin. And you guys will see what I mean. It, it's like amazing. <laughs> If you guys see me look down it's because I'm looking at the monitor in front of me I don't know why I do that I think it feels more normal looking at myself talking than it does an empty camera but I'd like to think you guys are listening right now <clears throat> these lashes are so pretty again me and my best friend Katie were at Walgreens the other day picking up um, my dad's prescriptions <sighs> and these are so pretty so I'm gonna wear one of these you're gonna help me decide six pumps of this because it's really small pumps i'm assuming that's because it takes a little bit you know to go a long way i'm gonna do like two pumps of this two and a half no it's a lot of foundation but that's how i live my fucking life so if you don't like it don't fucking watch me is over it. I'm over the beauty guru standards. These freaking super rich bitches, which don't get me wrong, I love. I love them, but these like super rich bitches that started YouTube with nothing have everything they could possibly desire right now. And then they set these standards for all the smaller YouTubers and Instagrammers. And it's like, when do the small people like when do the small people get to come in and play and show their true colors and be like oh look at me i'm cool what i do is cool we all gotta like follow their their fads and their their little um you know google picks my makeup trends and it just it makes no sense to me why we can't all be doing our own thing and still be successful it's like people want to watch something that's not real like i get I'm not saying that they're not real people, obviously, but I don't know. It just, I'm sitting here with no mirror. No mirror? Really, Mindy? Get it together. All right. I mean, look at this coverage. Like, for real? Are you kidding me? Look at this. It's freaking amazing. Like I'm putting on a mask, which I love. I also dab foundation over my eyes. I don't know why a lot of girls don't do that. Cause it like primes your eyes for you. Look at this, like redness. There's some my mixture on that bitch. That shit is gone. I'm just in such a better place right now that I'm not so like stressed out with trying to get content up and, and all that stuff. It was literally driving me nuts and I felt so bad for not posting. And now it's like, it's my channel. It's my Instagram. I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. I don't have to post regularly if I don't want to. I don't care if I don't become successful at it, whatever. It's not here for that. I'm not here for that. I'm here to have a good time when I'm being drove nuts. I have kids. I started YouTube because I was a stay-at-home mom 
and I had nothing else to do. And during the day while my husband would work, my kids would drive me nuts and I literally like had no hobbies, no nothing. And so I started doing makeup. Because I loved the idea of like being able to be yourself on camera. And after a point, it just became not real anymore. So now, everything I do is because I want to. Not because I give a shit what anybody else thinks. The two concealers that I've been using lately is the Tarte Shape Tape and the NARS Radiant Longwear Creamy Concealer, right? NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, whatever. That's why I love people like Jeffree Star and Nikita Dragon and, um, you know, people who are kind of true to their self and who they are and who they want to be. Because I don't want to feel like I've been taken advantage of for trying to support somebody. I mean, am I the only one that feels that way? Like, am I the only one that feels like, like I was sold out? I felt like one of my best friends lied to me and then went behind my back and, and then told somebody the truth and like literally sold me out made it out to be my fault you know it's kind of like i don't know it just to me i feel like it was a cop out i feel like the divorce there was ulterior motives and and i wish her the best of luck in her future i i do i don't hate her i don't dislike her i've actually stopped watching her um because i'm a little bit heartbroken to be completely honest i'm a little bit heartbroken I feel like she could have, she could have elaborated, like, it's like, at a, in a horror movie, they like, or, shit, take Game of Thrones, for instance. The last season, uh, the seventh season, they were like, oh, White Walker this, White Walker that, then Jon Snow and Daenerys Targaryen are, you know, making love and all this stuff, and then... They literally, the last show that I seen until the next season, which was supposed to come out this year, is not going to come out until next year, um, is like the White Walkers busting down the freaking ice wall. So it's like, and then they leave it like that. That's it. Cliffhanger. Like total cliffhanger. Like I got left with all these questions, wondering what's really going on. And then you're sitting here being ingenuine, telling us that you're here for us and you, you want to support us or you, you know, you want us to support you. You want to be a part of our lives and you care about us because we helped you get to where you're at. Yet you're not doing anything that you said you would do. You're not being consistent with your uploads. You're not being, now that you make a lot of money off of so many other things, you don't care about us anymore. Yet we're the reason you are where you are. You know what I mean? It just, <clears throat> it seems like a farce and it seems cheap. So let me know down below. Um, and by the way, if you haven't already and you'd like to be, go ahead and subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up before you leave. Um, I just, I'm kind of, I'm just over the beauty community. I'm over it. I, I can't, I cannot put my faith into something that I feel like is not being real to me it's not benefiting me or not that it's not benefiting me it's not making me feel good anymore I guess we could say that it's not it's making me feel cheap every time I watch like a bigger that's why I love I like raw beauty Christy I like um who else do I like of course I love bigger youtubers like Jeffree Star and Nikita Dragon and stuff like that I love Nicole Guerrero but she's been on you know the outs lately um i think her um, one of her family members i think her grandma's sick or something so you know that's okay but um i like smaller people like raw beauty christy is my favorite actually and i probably that's the only one that i really care about watching right now because i feel like when i when i watch her videos she's not selling me out 
Like she's not just saying, here, buy this because I make a lot of money off of it. Or, you know what I mean? That's why if I ever were to get like in that position, oh bitch, I would be doing, so I would be making some changes. I'd be going after some bitches throats. Things would be changing. You know what I mean? Because we have this cheap idea of what beauty is anymore. With the, these girls with these big butts, these flat tummies, these big boobs, these big, you know, lips, and it, it's not real. It's not real. Yeah, you can do whatever you want with your body, but you're making these other people insecure. It's like they want you to, uh, not that they're intentionally wanting you to feel like, by the way, I just set my face with the Maybelline fit me um, loose finishing powder. I love this stuff. This stuff is really nice. And then I cream contoured with um, the Wet n Wild contour stick, the darker one. 805 Call Me Maple. And now I'm gonna bronze my face up with the Hoola bronzer. And then I'm going to um, use this Elizabeth Moth. Ugh. This Elizabeth Mott, um, show me your, yeah, show me your cheeks blush in peach pink. It's actually very pretty. I'm going to use this Luxie 660 Perfection or Precision Foundation Brush for contouring. I love this brush for contouring. It's so, like, perfect. It fits, like, right here, and then you can, you know, blend it out. I know they're going to be really good. I have three of Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks, and I love them. Elizabeth Mott, <clears throat> Elizabeth Mott, show me your cheeks, uh, peach pink blush. I love this blush because it's got like a really nice sheen to it. I'm sorry if I seem like a negative Nancy about the whole Jaclyn Hill thing. I really do wish her like, I really do wish her the best of luck because I'm married and I know how much work it is being married and I know what it's like having nothing and I know what it's like having everything that I need with my significant other but we don't give up on each other because we have what we need or we don't give up on each other because we get bored we find ways to fix our relationship if need be so now i refuse to believe in anything that comes from youtube anymore i believe in the smaller youtubers i believe in supporting each other i believe in having faith in one another I believe in trusting somebody and allowing yourself to learn from that experience. If you get, you know, some sort of like bad response from a person, then don't talk to them anymore. Don't be their friend. Don't be there for them. But you can't just shut somebody out before you even know who they are. It's not fair. So now that that is done, Mm, my brows are done. Uh, I'm, like I said, I'm just doing uh, a light wash of makeup today. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. And um, no, actually, I'm going to do my liner first. Um, I've really been loving this pretty vulgar um, gel liner. I got it in my BoxyCharm last month, and it's actually really pretty. So what I used to put it on is the MAC 210 brush. It's just this little, like, tiny tip brush. And it's actually really creamy and really nice. So, with that being said, I'm going to put some on. Actually, let me wipe this brush down. These Wet n Wild um, makeup wipes are really good. They're like $2 too, so. And I get it. I have no idea what's going on in these people's lives or how they're being treated. I get that. But when you take the chance to meet a really good friend, when you take away the chance to meet a really good friend, or to experience something new, or to, who knows, maybe even, you know, find a really genuine person out there that's not out there to get you or to use you. Instead, you like huddle up in this shell and you sh you lock yourself away and you put yourself on this pedestal like like nobody can get to you. And it's not fair. It's not fair. We're not allowed to be friends with you. We're not allowed to to talk to you about normal stuff. Like 
I guarantee you, you can talk about um, one of your like your YouTube beauty guru friends. I guarantee you could text James Charles right now and say, hey, can you check out this video and um, kind of critique it for me and let me know what I could do to change it? I bet you could do that. Oh, because they've got millions of friends. Or, I'm sorry, they're not friends. They have followers because they have millions of followers. So basically what you're saying is that people are not validated unless they have followers. That doesn't make sense. You can't treat people like they're nobody because People don't want to watch them every day. It just doesn't make sense. So I'm going in with this liner right here. And I'm going to make me a nice little wing. Another thing that's been really bothering me lately is this whole YouTube like demonetizing things. Like, I don't understand. How do you think all these YouTubers that are making you guys money? Sorry, I have so many wrinkles in my forehead. I don't care though, because I'm perfect just the way that I am. Anyways, how do you think you made all this money, YouTube? I mean, how do you think these YouTubers grew to get millions of followers? Do you think that they grew by you demonetizing their stuff? No, they grew because their followers were allowed to look at their videos and uh, you promoted their videos, whether or not they had thousands of followers or not, whether or not they used clickbait. It's disgusting. Money makes the world go round, but money also makes the world evil, and it's disgusting. Sorry, I can't really talk when I do a wing. I just really, not when I'm doing gel liner. It's hard because I, I'm falling. So here I am. <clears throat> Little old me, little old me just trying to have my videos seen by my followers alone, and that's not even working. Falling, 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 falling. Here we are to talk about our Jeffree Star Cosmetics Equality Bundle. And here you get eight liquid lipsticks minis that um, are every color of the rainbow. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm going to swatch each one of my lips and then we'll talk a little bit about them. We have Diva. I'm falling. Tell me why I'm falling. Oh, life's calling. I'm kind of dry. I remember these liquid lips being a lot more frothy than this. But since they're so small, I don't want to have to fight with them. We have red rum. Very pretty blue red. Actually, I think this is more of an orange red. I love it. It's creamy. It's nice. It's not too drying. Makes my teeth look white. We have flamethrower. Not one swipe coverage for this. This one's a bit patchy. It's a pretty color. I'm not like crazy about it. It's still pretty. We have Queen Bee. I really love yellow. I'm really into yellow lately. 
See, this one smells good. The first three didn't smell good. Why wouldn't they be consistent with that? Did they literally just take the liquid lipstick that they already have and put it into these? Is that what they did? You guys see this? It's like really streaky. I know um, yellow liquid. That looks like shit. This looks like literal shit. And I am all for like fashion colors. Like, fourth dip. Find it easier if you dab it like this to get the pigment to stay. But this does not look good. Alright, on to one of the new colors. This is called Equality, and it's literally just like a grass green. Really pretty. Please. See, this one doesn't smell either. This is the only one that smelled good. Why? This one smells like paint. See, this is the pigmentation I'm looking for. I'm falling. Tell me why I'm falling. We have three more left. We have breakfast at Tiffany's. But it's hard because I'm falling. Here we have breakfast at Tiffany's and I actually really like this color. Um, I also like the fact that these colors can be used as liquid eyeliners. I'm definitely down for that. I like having every color in the rainbow. Next we have blue velvet. This one's a bit streaky. I really love the blue, but what I'm really not liking about this whole bundle is that they're inconsistent. Some of them are kind of patchy, and some of them um, have really nice coverage, but all in all, they're really comfortable, and I don't mind the scent. Like, um, a couple of them have a really good scent, and most of them have no scent at all. It just kind of smells like, like what a li liquid lipstick would smell like, but um, I'm just not liking the inconsistency. They should all be the same, and he sells most of these liquid lipsticks by themselves um, regularly anyway, so you would think that the formula would be there. Um, I think he needs to make some tweaks. I don't know if maybe because it's inside these tiny little tubes that it's not mixed correctly or what, but um, I, I'm definitely noticing some inconsistencies. But that's not not to say that I don't necessarily like it, because I love colorful things. Like, I'm going to love to have this in my collection displayed and um, to be able to use these as even eyeliners, which obviously you would um, use differently. You know what I mean? You're not going to take and swipe it like this uh, for an eyeliner. you got to take your time with it. So, all in all, I seem to like it. I have one more color to swatch and then we'll talk a little bit more about it. And here we have the last color in the bundle that is also a new color along with equality is I'm Royalty and it's a very pretty purple color. Same thing with this. You can see it's like really patchy. I really don't like having to reapply to keep it from being patchy. But that is all the swatches of the new Jeffree Star Cosmetics Equality Bundle. Um, there are some inconsistencies with these liquid lipsticks and um, I don't know if it's something that I cannot live with or cannot live without, you know what I mean? But all in all, the reason to support this would be to support the LGBTQIA 
um, community and uh, let them know how much we care about them um, because all the proceeds are being donated to the LGBTQ um, I believe it's a, a charity so um, that's why I decided to support this I think it's awesome it helps any type of um, people within that standard that are in need they help them so that's really good you guys like this video then go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, and also follow me on all my social medias and while you're here you might as well click that bell icon so you can get notified every single time that I upload I have nothing left to tell you except for I love you thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye